Okay, today I'm going to be crushing seashells. Then I'm gonna show you what you can do with the seashell dust in order to blow up a balloon. We'll see if I can blow up a balloon with this reaction. So these are called sand dollars. They're really hard to get in their full piece like this. They're usually on the beach, but seagulls come down and they break them open and they eat what's inside of them. But I got these by myself at the beach before the seagulls got them. So these two, I'm not sure what they are. This one looks like a small conch shell though. Okay, let's load our seashells in. All right, seashells crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, look at the middle of that. Whoa. That was cool. The conch shell fell out. It looks like a really cool center of it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we got a lot of shell dust. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Look how it broke. That's so cool. That was a lucky way to break. Here's the inside of that other shell too. Look at that. And here's the inside of the sand dollar. So seashells are mostly made of calcium carbonate. And what's cool with calcium carbonate is that it reacts with acids to form carbon dioxide. So I wanted to see what would happen if I mix the seashell dust with vinegar, which is an acid, and see if I can blow up a balloon with it. With, so it should be a carbon dioxide balloon. Okay, so this is my seashell dust that I'm going for. Should have a lot of surface area. Should react with the acetic acid, the vinegar that I'm gonna put in it. Okay, I've got all my shell dust in the bottom here. Let's pour in the vinegar. You can see the reaction happening in here. See all the bubbles forming? That's the seashells dissolving into carbon dioxide. So this would work better with a stronger acid like hydrochloric acid or something that I don't have any on me right now. So acetic acid will have to do. So of course you could just do this reaction with baking soda and vinegar, but this is more fun because this carbon dioxide actually contains carbon from the seashells themselves. So this is seashell gas, which is awesome. Now let's release some of the seashell gas. Smells like vinegar. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and you can comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see get crushed next time and ask